Drive anywhere in the Miami Valley and you'll hear two familiar words. Speed trap. Speed trap. <laughs> Speed traps do is this. And one of the towns where drivers have complained going back decades is the Clark County village of Northampton. Yes, it was out of control many, many times. I want to show you the problem here right here in the village. It's 35 miles an hour. But look further down the road at the edge of the village and beyond, it's 55. Some people don't slow down fast enough and that's when they get caught. Anytime you're coming into a small town, you know that the speed limit is going to drop. You know, it's the signs are well out there, they're visible. A state report found, though, per capita, Northampton gave out more tickets than any other village in the Miami Valley. The chief says, though, that statistic doesn't tell the whole story, showing us some of the guns and drugs he's found in the cars he's pulled over. Morning, sir. Adding his community is not a speed trap, so people here support him. I go 35, sometimes I even go 30. Number two on the state's list for tickets per capita is Clark County's Tremont City. It was also named in the top 10 worst places in Ohio by the website speedtrap.org. I talked by Skype with the man behind the website. In Ohio is, most areas are a border to border speed trap. The posted limits are set 10 and more miles per hour below the safest level. That makes enforcement very profitable. Defense attorney Mark Babb says if you're caught in a speed trap, don't complain to the officer, but instead fight it later in court. It may save you on your insurance later if you keep those points off your license. All right, please. People who get tickets say the system is unfair. Your courts get more money out of us. Magistrates say they hear every excuse conceivable, including the drivers were distracted, turning on the radio or adjusting the rearview mirror. I asked them, how do you not roll your eyes in court when they give you that excuse? Oh, we do give them the eye roll and sometimes the finger. It's like, be aware. The Highway Patrol's Chris Colbert showed us how they do enforcement, looking for people going way too fast. Like 84 is coming up here on you guys care for me? Yeah, go for it. 3007 Southbound Stanley. After a brief pursuit, we caught up with the driver, just 19 years old and in a hurry. The patrol says they don't have speed traps. They do run radar in the places with the most crashes. We work for the public. We do a job that nobody wants us to do, but everybody wants us to do. They don't really want you to, but by the same token, they know it's necessary. 